This has been a grand pack show. We've had a lot to discuss, and it all is capped off and, and culminates with my favorite segment of the show, Malkin's Moments, getting a chance to recognize and highlight some athletes that may have otherwise not gotten the type of shine that they deserved. And obviously with the Olympics, there are a ton of athletes that deserve recognition. I haven't had the honor of being able to recognize all of them. I still won't be able to do that, but there are a bunch that have made some notable headlines. But we start first with actually the University of Missouri. They hired a new athletic director. They hired the former UNLV athletic director, Desiree Reed Francois, will be the new athletic director who, who she will be the new athletic director at Missouri. And she is now just the second athletic director in the SEC. Just announced the second, she became the SEC second female athletic director again. I recognize that this shouldn't continue to be a headline or a story. And so from that perspective, I regret making this a part of my Malkin's moments, but at the same time, we haven't reached that, that moment yet. We're still progressing. And so as we continue to make more of these changes and allow females to have larger roles with, with athletic, with, with athletics, I still feel it's an, it's an important duty to recognize them. And so big shout out, to Desiree Reed Francois, Missouri is a big time program and they've got some talent there. So I'll be looking out to see what she does over there. Uh, shout out to Abraham Answer, pro golfer for winning his first ever PGA career victory at the TPC Southwind tournament after a playoff win. It seems like he's finally starting to find his groove, to get into a little bit of a role now. So good job for him. In baseball, Jordan Alvarez, the former Dodgers prospect, not only did he smash a home run 115 miles an hour, he became the fastest Houston Astros uh, slugger to hit 50 home runs. And we obviously knew that he had a lot of potential, especially with the Dodgers. That's why he was such a highly coveted prospect. He's been thriving. In, in Houston, especially with the departure of George Springer, who went to the Blue Jays. So Jordan Oliver has, has been a fantastic player for the Houston Astros, setting aside the scandal involving them. He individually has been a great player. So big shout out to him. And in the Olympics, so many noteworthy performances. Big shout outs to, first of all, both the men's and women's basketball teams winning gold. At the, at the Tokyo Olympics, the men's team obviously defeated France 87 to 82 to collect their fourth straight Olympic gold medal. And the women's team, they defeated Japan, the host country, 90 to 75 to win their seventh consecutive Olympic gold medal. It, it's, it's an unbelievable feat when you look at this team. Brittany Griner poured in 30 huge points to lead and pace the U.S. team. But you look at two individual players on the U.S. women's basketball team. Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi have now won five Olympic gold medals. That's the most for any basketball player ever. The most by any basketball player. Sue Bird at the age of 40 became the oldest basketball player to win gold, to win a gold medal. And now the, these seven consecutive gold medals for the women's team, ties the men's basketball team for the longest gold medal streak in Olympic sports. So major shout-outs again to both the men's and the women's basketball teams. It's a tremendous feat, a tremendous accomplishment, and, and it nothing to sneeze at. And that's what the U.S. is supposed to do. They're supposed to take gold at basketball. And speaking of, they edged out China for the most gold medals Total across the Tokyo Olympics, they finished with 39 medals. China finished with 38. They had the most total medals, period, if you include the most golds, the most silvers, and the most bronze. 113 medals total for the U.S. This is considered to be uh, America's second most successful Olympics behind the Los Angeles Olympics in, uh, in 1984. That's, that's what it's viewed at. And so it was just a tremendous way to cap off. And speaking of capping it off, final Malkin's moment goes to Allison Felix, 
the great, great 35-year-old Allison Felix, who's the now the most decorated track star in U.S. Olympics history. She took gold along with her teammates in the 4x400-meter relay race. She now becomes the most decorated American track athlete with 11 medals is Allison Felix. So tons of great credit to go around. The Olympics were a lot of fun to watch. It gave me an opportunity, again, to be exposed to some different athletes that we don't normally see. Caleb Dressel with the swim, with, with, with the swim meets. So much fun. The diving, the wrestling, just, just everything that more of these eclectic sports that you're not normally exposed to that you normally don't get a chance to see. So that was a, a huge moment for the U.S., major, major moment for them. They did exceptionally well. And big shout out to the entire uh, United States Olympic Committee. So that's all the time that I got for today. I recognize I am finishing up a little bit early today. Appreciate you joining me on a Monday morning. A lot to, to discuss on Wednesday, of course, but you can catch me and all the shows, Morning Joe with Jonah Malkin, every Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central, and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific on YouTube, on Twitter, and on Facebook Live. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe with Jonah Malkin. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Continue to, to, to comment and like those videos. And as always, have a lovely rest of your morning.